Hey, my man. Yeah. Hey, my man. Craig Jones. Wow. Yo, what up? Long, yo, 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 yo. What is up? Red Dot Headshot. World Cup. Review to the preview. Whatever you want to call it. The round of the, the first group stage in the round of 16 review or the quarterfinals preview. However you slice it. Welcome to No Warning World Cup Podcast. Me and Jones have month. it linked up. It's beautiful. Yes, it's been a sick month. And me and Jones, we haven't linked up since we had the World War of Football Podcast. Check that out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, yeah, and still, YouTube I channel. Yeah. I no warning YouTube. Was. Yes, we still need to know Two what 11s. you guys think. I'm going to post the teams and then just do like a poll vote. Type poll thing. Vote. Yeah. You know what I mean? What I said. So shout out. Welcome, Jones. How you been, dog? We haven't Good, done bro. this for a minute. Well, I was just in the basement just watching tape all the time, you know, just playing games, eight hours of straight football, breaking down yeah. tactics, you know. <laughs> Dog, John, I saved John a... Herdman just making me so you can see the flag in the back. Oh, we'll get dang. into that later. But we'll get into that. I think we should 100%. just go group by group. Group that, by group. Does that feel good? We'll just break our thoughts from each group. Okay. Okay, let's run it. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, first one, group A, the Dutch, Senegal, straight. Ecuador, and Qatar. That's an easy group to go through. One, Qatar, great um, host for the show and the cleanest, dopest stadiums, not for the best reasons. I'm not going to talk about all that because God knows the whole world is, Qatar, it's a terrible place to have it. We get it. Okay, football time. Now, what I was waiting for, the whistle to blow, the ball to drop, the football has been outstanding. But when it comes to to be wild off the first goal. (laughs) <laughs> Wild off the first goal. I was but like, Qatar, oh, Qatar, can you just wait a little bit before doing it? Before you know? start trying to jack, before you start trying to jack shit. Rough no, me. all jokes aside, though, Qatar, worst football from a host nation. Not just, like, they didn't compete, but, like, they just aren't good. And, like... Yeah, and it's not for a lack of resources. That's the thing. That's they've, the thing. They put so investing. much money. They tried to get Zidane. Like, they they were trying to put... They, I think they offered everything. Him, like, wild amount of money to come they coach. put so much time oh. into going on tour i'm just was surprised i didn't expect much but they were less than i expected so i was a bit disappointed for that but yeah. hey ecuador, congrats to them ecuador for getting came, the host ecuador was a surprise too Valencia shout out to enter really valencia yeah. that's the dude the i heard he scored shirt. the last six straight goals for the country so i'm like when he got hurt i'm like well see ya, ecuador six straight goals for yeah. the country jesus christ yeah. So but trouble. props to him. But really, the two people who left the group, Senegal and Dutch, you know, I got to give big shout out to Senegal because, first off, West Africans. Second, African Cup of Nations current champions. But really hurts me, though, is that no Sadio Mane affected them greatly. Jones, they were a great team, but around the box, they just they was Canada-esque. Time. They still were able to finish at least, He's... but they were Canada-esque. They had a lot of chances wasted, and we know me and you both know Sadio would have, would have been a game changer in the box. I know they were riding such good momentum. I was like, they could have won that group easily if Sadio Mane, because like if the Dutch, he was there, the Dutch are looking good. The Dutch, are, the Dutch surprised me a little bit because I was kind of like, ah, they're like that mid-level team. They kind of haven't had that like real performances, but all the young boys have come out hot. Don't you think? The Dutch. I love their history. They're just honestly though, they're only a shade above England in the nothing successful in my life. They have one trophy, a Euro from 19, I think they won the 1992 or 1990 Euro. So and the World Cup they have one trophy Spain. and they, and they lost World Cup lost to Spain. So I've seen them do productive things, but really, and they play beautiful football, but they just have a history of great talents and never like I've seen them do have Clivert, Bur Camp, Overmars, Seydorf. Davids, and then I've seen them have Schneider, Van Persie, Van, Van der Vaart, you know what I mean? Robin. So it's like to see I the know. amount of players they've produced, even back then with Meeskins and Christ, the original total footballer, like they've lost three World Cup finals, dog. That's crazy, man. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's the hard, that's the Buffalo Bills stat right there. Never a good but one. But big up Memphis Depay. He's low key one of my yeah, like, he's low another key, guy, him and low key class players that I really well, like, like in put- football. As soon as they put on that orange jersey, like it's kind of wild. They they just transform. There's a few of those guys in this tournament where they've been kind of lackluster for their club, and then all of a sudden it's just like 
He-Man. Now they're coming in hot. Right? I've seen it both ways. I kill club. I'm trash country. I kill yeah. country. I'm trash club. You're very right about it's that. About adapting. And shout so, out Cody Gakpo. He's definitely moving yes. on from uh, PSV after this tournament. No, for be, sure. That's the thing. There's going to be so many transfers after this tournament. I'm yes. So oh, yeah. Big money. A lot of money in the, in the winter. Gakpo, window. number one from the Dutch, for sure. Group B was uh, a rough one. England, USA, Iran, and Wales. I wasn't a big fan of any of the teams other than Wales, so it was like... Uh, really? Yeah. I, well, yeah. Iran, right, was, actually, Iran was weird. I'm not going to cheer for Iran. USA, England, I was like... Ah, well, I was I down with the Iran. States. I wanted them to be my wild card under, underdog, Iran. Mm. thought they actually had a bit more in them because they played very well at the last tournament. Yeah, but what's going on back home kind of... Uh, thing, no, I get that, but... You know me, Jones. I uh, try to separate sports I, I'm a, and politics. Yeah, and I'm African. So if you're going to talk about turmoil at home and being able to support your team, it would be like, well, I can't participate in viewing any African sports because every government's <laughs> trash and corrupt. Fair enough. Fair but enough. I do get what you're saying. Check your morals at the, same at, the time, door. at the same time, they even had players on the team who are stepping up. So I can't hate on the footballers if they're even saying they're against this idiocy well, at home. Right? Like yeah. some guys even dipped out from from apparently a lot of guys went from tournament back to club well, we know uh, what's waiting for we know what is waiting for us we are not going <laughs> we don't want to go home this is the power <laughs> of millennials and gen z's man this is the shift no, is yes. happening so it's all the but yeah moment. i'm but, definitely not a fan of what happened but that's separate but iran USA? i was more hopeful for usa you know me and you are pretty similar in the fact that we never rep us for anything no, I, always I enjoy watching sure. them play basketball, but I still cheer against them to get Every an upset time. loss. Yeah, but in the end, for sure, in football, aka yeah. it's called soccer. Like you, that's the reason. That's the reason. Yankees out in Qatar at the World Cup, chanting it's called soccer. That is the most American, annoying <laughs> nonsense. That's why I can't stand these people. And I was in Brazil with these people, hands down, the most obnoxious fans. Oh, it's like. You're at the World Cup, but then suddenly you get transported to Tennessee. It sucks, man. They're so loud. Well, they always. I have... literally was in a bar where this guy was fighting someone's his friend's girlfriend about who drank the last beer at the apartment. <laughs> and we're at the World Cup. I'm trying to eat my dinner. These <laughs> loud ass Yankees. Kind of a great I can't time. stand Yankees, dog. Yeah. But props to them. They had a solid, solid um, team, especially in the middle. The Musa, um, West, the Musa McKinney and uh, Adams midfield. They have a strong midfield going forward. Shout out to yeah. Musa, who's one of the million Ghanian they still lack the striker, kids like that's on and on. So, yeah, they still they lack, lack the striker, that but, big time. Yeah. That redheaded kid, he ain't it. Yeah. You know what I mean? England's England surprised me. I was I was going in there with just like you know tempered expectations, but really, this is the best honestly, England should I've I have then because of the Euro? Like, should I? Like, they, they of course still went to the final, right? Like, it's still like they were they're they were riding high. And look at the difference between England riding losing that final. And then Italy not making the World Cup, right? Like that's an interesting. It's very interesting, right? But the main thing with England is, is they've been young for like three tournaments, and now that same young team, it's still young, but they've yeah. been through a more experience now. And Jones, there's just like a little peak in their football that I haven't. The last World Cup, they were climbing to this moment. Then at Euro, they made it to the final, looked pretty good, but still Gareth. Southgate was so like conservative that he didn't really. Oh, and he also put three kids in to go kick a kick a penalty when he hadn't touched a ball. Straight That's up, good and coaching that works well, and make him go last idea. three. You know, yeah, maybe make 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 Kane go fifth. Maybe you know, like <laughs> you know I what I know. mean. Weird, and, and they got <laughs> the lead coach. after like fifteen minutes and then sat back. So, but that's what it yeah. could have should it. That's done right now. I feel like I have to give the, the, the same way we shit on Southgate. I have to give credit where it's due because. He unleashed his attackers, and he yeah, unleashed he all of them. He gave totally. everyone a shot. That's the main thing. He's so addicted to Sterling, Saka, and Kane, and he still kept Kane, which is to be expected. And shout out to Kane for distribution when he's not scoring, leading the tournament in assists. Amazing. He's a real but, team uh, player this time. Yeah. Yes, but to have Sterling and Foden on the left, Saka and Rashford on the right, try them all out, and then finally settle for what I believe will be Saka, Kane, and Foden. Nice. Oh. And he has the depth, and he gave Rashford. Rashford can't score, but he gave Rashford. He did score, but yeah. like that kid gets like 12 chances for every goal, man. 
Damn. I know. That's... Pick your head up when you do. He's Eric Lindros out there. <laughs> yeah, it's so just amazing. Head down for every shot. Yeah, people always forget just the amount, the amount of pressure these guys deal with. Not only having to uh, play for their home team, but then when they go back to their club teams, it's like every day, I can only imagine. And with social media. Especially in England. So, but to be England. honest, man, Rashford, you missed too well, much chances. It's um, like playing hockey in Canada, you know. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll should aside, I do believe yeah. England can do, do it, but... Like I said, they're the nah, Maple they got a of, big, big games, you know. Maple Leafs of international football. Until it's come home, I don't believe you. So let's see England. What are you gonna do? Let's I was go. sad about Wales. Happy for Bale. That's how it goes. Sixty four years. Everybody deserves a lot of hearts, that. Every, but every country deserves that. They just didn't have it. Let's be honest. Yeah, they were solid. They? Like they tried their best. Ramsey's but... still making that team, so it's like that's what I mean. <laughs> like they're going very, through... very, yeah. very and short for depth and qualifying how they do out of Europe. Like that's not easy either, right? It's not like they're coming in. Yeah. With the wall. Good on them for getting there. And one of the best yeah. fans, uh, fan groups. I like their fans. They were going hard. Next group was exciting: um, Argentina, Poland, Mexico, and Saudi Arabia. Oof! I would say potentially the most exciting group yeah. they were down to the wire their third day group stage games were outstanding argentina had to fight for it like crazy then meanwhile mexico is scoring like 70 yard free kicks trying their best to fucking come back they get two offside goals that would have put them through and then after all the fight they let saudi score uh and officially get eliminated See, because I, the saudis well, on the I'd goal rather, difference to be fair i was gonna say i'd rather it go to goal difference than to total yellow cards like that oh yeah yeah 100 percent. the worst nobody likes that 100 percent. what I'm is it after yellows that. i wonder if it's after yellows it's no that is the last shot. thing no but it would because it's goal difference then most goals the most but, goals comes after the goal difference most so yellows. it's like goal difference then most goals. I'm saying, scored. what if you had the exact same goal difference, exact same yellows? No, and then you would still. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, let's say your goal difference is plus one. Both yeah. of them are that. But then it will be like, oh, we scored six for my plus one. You scored four. So then it would go to that, and then yeah. it goes to the yellows. And then what so happens? I'm saying, if it's uh, all the same. It's well, all. Well, we'll see in the future when it comes, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> they just they just fight. <laughs> These are the things I tell my kids. Like, shut up, man. Don't. <laughs> try and solve riddles that haven't been i did written. laugh when saudi arabia beat argentina though that was of course funny. where is messi where is messi fraud where is messi you know. that's definitely one of the clips of the whole world cup where is messi the guy <laughs> looks in buddy's pocket oh it was hilarious wow. where is messi where is messi but wow. messi showed up dog so all the where's messi jones let's be real messi is playing probably the best football in the last like three or four years yeah. At a World Cup at 35, man. Yeah. It's very interesting oh, because he looked like he didn't have this in him. And I think what sparked him is that Copa victory against Brazil in Brazil. And like, dog, from that moment, I... he juiced up. His PSG season has been juiced up going in because people aren't really noticing his PSG season is so much better than last year's. So when he came into this tournament, he was on way better form. And what I like about Messi. So while Ronaldo is going crazy, That's talking right. crazy every two seconds, Ronaldo, Messi's silently like, I'm going to play better and I'm not going to talk and I'm going to let Cristiano take all this. I'm going to say like, a hot take is I think Messi went to TB12's thing. That's what I'm thinking. He's, what are you talking about? He went to Tom Brady's TB12 performance, I think. That's what oh, I'm thinking. Messi's talk, man, a little. No. I don't put anything past <laughs> anyone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's getting a little extra. Is that going to surprise That's, me? I know they right. have all the money in the world do it, but that was no, he, it was, uh, yeah, Poland but it also, were a surprise. So, with was, that take, as the Messi supporter defender, I will say this is someone in the GOAT conversation. So, yeah, if we're gonna let Zizu be an older man and pull this rabbit out of his hat before the headbutt just because he's older and he's skilled well, and he turned he it up. If Messi potential. gets the World Cup, his, his, uh, no, but I'm just saying, resume don't just count off good. that he's actually just that good at ball like i don't want to be like it's only because he's taking juice now you know no, what i mean because i, I highly I'm doubt saying. ronaldo hasn't shot himself with every last thing but it's yes, not working, he has but. i know that's but what i'm saying but weird, it ain't though. working buddy maybe messi so wasn't saying, doing it before messi. to be fair yeah that argentina team is pretty they're looking pretty in sync that's like a fun thing to watch like, the thing is they're not cohesive. that good jones but that's it they well, did you see that speech he gave before the copa 
Oh yeah. Wild. And so. everyone never thought Messi even had that kind of leadership in him. So I love that speech. Poland, Very I was disappointed. Un- I was cheering for it. Great country. But Levy. Leva! Like, I know. Shout out like, to Janet. You needed to do more. I wanted to see more from Levy. But you know what? I enough. can say I would good say enough. that, Jones, but this I watched Inaki Williams out front by himself for Ghana. And one thing I will not say to any lone striker in any team or formation is Bro, if you don't get service, I'm not blaming you for shit. Because if you make runs and they don't feed you or they feed you when you didn't make the run, the bottom line is you're up there soloing it, soloing it, soloing it. It's not really, like, fun. And when you see this guy get fed, he gets fed in the last three clubs he's at, and he scores for fun. So I I give more disrespect to the coach, especially the Argentina game. They literally chose not to try to attack, and it was horrible. And they almost paid the price, man. Because yeah. they could have done a little better. They literally just said, we're going to absorb the world. And, come and I felt so heat. bad. Yeah, It was so bad. And my Polish friends were even, like, furious. Like, what a display, man. I know. Go, and if it wasn't for Chesney. You want to go out swinging. It wasn't swinging. for Chesney. Oh, Chesney. Was, like, huge. Oh, my God. Huh. Anyway, moving man, right on. We're, yes, your boy. France, Luna. France, Australia, Tunisia, Denmark. You started up. French are just the French. My God. So deep. Just, it's not even funny. And I so shout out another Arsenal man, handsome man, Giroud. My God, passes Thierry Henry for most goals for a male French player. Incredible. One of the most too. underrated football players maybe ever. Yeah, definitely. And he has one of the best goals too with the scorpion kick. Um, but uh, Mbappe's nobody playing. loves Giroud. Mbappe, Mbappe's kind of like, because he, he has five right now. He's got golden boot kind of locked in, right? He's Killian. He's I love that shit. And, and then what Benz, was this? Was that a goal? When he did that, what was I he doing know. when he did that? I can't keep. I was up thinking with all he was a goat. I was so he's like, on the way right now. Because yo, World Cup ties Pele for fastest to uh, nine goals in only two tournaments, and the youngest to nine goals at twenty three, tying with Pele, Pele. crazy, yeah. and uh, passing Ronaldo and tying Messi for most goals and two World Cups when these guys took five. Like, I'm not saying he's the same level footballer because true say he's actually not a better footballer than either one of them yet. Right now, he's really playing on pure Derrick Rose athleticism. Like, just Definitely. I'll kill all of you. And he's playing but with a lot of talent, too. You talk about service. That, too. Service, right? And I think he's made a huge statement about I want to play on the wing because it's not a joke to say it. But when you're at a club getting that kind of money and he, you show them, like, this is what I can do if you let me play. Let me do like, it. I was, like, one of the people heckling him when he's like, I don't want, I'm like, bro, a million a week, go play defense. Like, what are you crying for? You know what I mean? But when you see him, when you're a player and you're frustrated because you know what you can unleash in your spot, yeah. I see where he's coming from. But at the same time, I see where Thierry Henry is coming. I didn't know I wanted to play in the wing in Barca, but I listened to the manager. I mean, with trophies. <laughs> But it's true. But you know what's funny? Old players, and I've seen it from the Shaq and them on the inside of the NBA. I feel like there's a little touch of like, let's be honest, Jones, they're done their career and they're a little jealous of the new person. Oh, because they always want to scold, scold. And this is what I did. But hey, I have more power than you, Thierry Henry. And I am actually I know, this selling. Is to get off my lawn, guys. It's, it'll yeah, always yeah, be yeah. like this. It's generation. It's everything. Music's different. Music's better. TV's better. Sports were better. Everything was better back in the day. You know what I mean? Bad day. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Ilian is killing, man. And he needs I was, his respect. I was excited for Australia. That was kind of cool to see them for the Socceroos. Biggest heart of the tournament so and the, far. And the, out. Yeah, and the last uh, team to get in, too, which was nice. Yeah. So, for them on, to be the last shootouts. Team. And when the, uh, the goalie had that hot, like, he was playing mind games like a wild man. Oh, at the that shootout? Shootout? Oh. Yeah. yeah. But as for this current tournament, like, I loved how much they put their balls on the table. I find that there's too many teams that don't. Because, like, at the end of the day, if you're going to leave the tournament or go out, like, losing 2 nothing or 4 nothing, like, putting your balls on the table is a big thing. And they did it and they advanced for it. Yeah. You gotta just go for it, man. They we'll really get, we'll, almost had Argentina. That we'll, was get to really, the, we'll get to that. Really crazy. When my little 17, 17 another Pele record, that kid from Australia who almost tied it at the end. Oh, the, uh, black so kid. Close. Which was, I was like, this is the blackest Australian I ever seen. But anyways, <laughs> um, he tied, uh, he's only second to Pele as the youngest player to ever play in the World Cup. So shout oh, out really? to him. And he almost oh, break. Yeah, he's only 18 to 17 or 18. 
So I think wild. he's the end of his 17. But either way, and he almost scored, dog. That would have been crazy. So close. Oh, so God. close late <laughs> in the game. And that one right back or left back who ran from half and beat everyone and almost scored oh, at the end dangles, of the game. Oh, I know. <laughs> Just like bounced on him. A I'm little like, bit. is that oh. messy? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay, next yeah, group. Next group. Goal. Yeah, before on that last one, I'll say I was just a little sad for oh, Christian sorry, Harrison. Bro. Just for the Danes. I wanted to see Christian Harrison do a little bit I'm better. Not. Just because of the last tournament. Fair was, enough. But they, they, if anything, them motherfuckers let me down. I thought they would have played way better. They played They like did trash. play poorly. All right, Poor the next poor. one uh, Japan, Spain, Germany, Costa Rica. Another, Another exciting area. group because yeah. the Samurai came happened. through and freaking. Oh. Hattori Hanzo, everyone got Hattori Hanzo. And they, Wait, they play what? good. They play good organized good, football. Fast, good, fast, organized yes. attacking, attacking football, dog. Yes, they were shout fun out to, to watch. the Asians. I was Korea really was in my Japan. group, and geez, yeah. these guys. Two things: Asian teams could run. Okay, yeah, <laughs> they could run, but really, their Very organization. Good tactically. They're, Very tactically, that's well what coached. I was gonna say. Yeah. We always tease and. Everyone always teases all oh, the Asians and the math and the science. The oh, the get good, that that. But yo, all jokes aside, yo, very organized. Stick to the script. Well, I Everyone it's... knows their role. Everyone does their job. But the main thing is run, run, run. See, I hold I'd, your spots. I'd make that analogy to their society. They're they're Ooh. such a collectivist society. Like their whole idea. That's what I mean, is just like yeah, like. No one's littering. No one's doing any of that. Like you're always helping out others and stuff. Like it's. it's and did you very... see the Koreans when they sub off? They salute. Yeah. yeah. Don't just step off the field. Respect. They're the doing it for the country. The fans. Yeah. Yes, man. Oh, and yo, shout Japan's out. To high Japan. on my list to visit. I'd giant love to visit. killers, dog. Big giant killers. Big win against Germany. Big win against Spain. Shout out to Japan. Germany ain't gonna say shit except Musiala. And... Musiala is it. That's the only good takeaway I have about Germany. Germany's that kid in is trouble. Yeah. They're in big trouble, bro. Switch yeah. coaches He's... and like they don't have a nine. They've switched a lot of coaches. And it's like weird because they're disciplined and they're like, this is it's gone. It's weird. They don't they don't look as good tactically as they No, they it's weird. That's why, hey, this they're their golden generation passed. Now they're in the rebuild, right? But Musiala dog, like yeah, the, there's a we, couple that like guy, even that Havertz has much, potential, like, like to do oh, more Kai, than he's doing. Kai's always, like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, more. and they didn't have Werner, even though he's up and down when he's in a Germany jersey. But still, yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel you. Not a big Werner guy. And uh, yeah, Costa after. Rica, I was like, oh, my God. Like, what the hell? That just made me mad just because of Canada. I was just like, Ugh. Keeler Navis. That's all I have to say yeah. about Costa Rica. After that, I don't care. Super underrated that. goalie, you know? Super underrated. Super underrated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Morocco, Croatia, Belgium. In Canada. What group are you? You just skipped the group F. No, I jumped oh, off group Japan, F. Spain, Germany, Costa Rica. Group okay, F. so now we're in yeah, group F. But the just the last shout out, Jamal Musiala, top three up and comers. That dribbling and the ball control balance, like that kid's different. Shout out Jamal Musiala. Okay, yeah, he did group, group F. Yeah. See, again, that's Canada's group. That's so group. that's uh us, Croatia, Belgium, and Morocco. No, correct? Morocco, Belgium, yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Us, Belgium, Croatia, Morocco. Correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Canada has been talked and talked and talked, but in closing for Canada, my big hindsight is 2020. Review is John Herdman, amazing motivator, no tactical skills. Amazing motivator. What I believe is he took the most talented group of young Canadian players in a long time and pulled the most out of them that he could ever pull out because he's an amazing motivator and he built a strong brotherhood and the truth be told about the football. I think we got fool's gold in qualifying. I think the reality was our qualifying region is a lot easier. I think teams like Mexico and U S weren't at their peak and not just that, but they underestimated us. And we had such a strong, strong, strong like our United Front. I don't know if you watched the YouTube. Did you watch the YouTube doc? Like the five part series? No. Pretty much, bro, Jones. One thing I love about this Canadian team is like solid it's ride or die, and ride or die. And the talent was high, and they're young. But in retrospect, John Herdman showed his inexperience because he said it was an on field decision for the penalty kick. I am a firm believer you don't go into a tournament without your three penalty yes, kick takers already decided. You can't just decide on emotion in the moment. That's mm -hmm. bullshit. 
So that's a coach thing, not a team thing to me. His three back system, it was great for attacking in CONCACAF, but we saw like so many holes. Even though Belgium didn't even get much chances, they took the one good one because there was always like the holes on the counter for Canada with the three back. And I felt like I saw Kamal Miller sprinting by himself like five, six times during the tournament. Yeah, I and think he did like. I liked his tactics more against Belgium. They deserved the win in that game. Actually. They deserved like, the they win. Played, for sure. Like I thought. That's what I but wanted that to see. Space this game. Was not also taking him like De Bruyne made two huge runs and laid it off wrong. And then the one through ball that went through was a goal. Yeah. So it was like when you're playing a class team and it's you don't take the best players, you know. The yeah, but that's what and I'm to, saying. And could have to stay positive, what I'll say too is going into this, would we have thought that two of the teams in our group are now sitting in the final eight? Right? Like Croatia and Morocco were both sitting there. And it's like to be fair, like they, they did have a very tough group. Right, oh, like I don't was, mind was, that. Yeah, like I don't was, mind that. What I mind is Herdman not knowing that I need to switch my formation. Yes, he got out coached, but and I also think Badly, my, my though, own, also I don't think actually, he's a tactical coach. That's the yes, thing, of Joe. course. He needs to bring somebody in to do that. He can stay motivated and bring so that kind of hurt me because I think they could have adjusted and they didn't have to get beat four one. They could have maybe one or been like two one, and then the Morocco game it was just like the same thing as the Croatia game, but part two. So yeah. it's like, what did you do between games to make it be like such the same outcome? And then the oh, the last thing I hated, trust the bench. Yeah. For Atiba we Hutchinson fairly... to be the oldest player at the World Cup, and yeah, he didn't put super Piet deep. and K and his mm-hmm. leg. And he was getting torched. Too. He, was he was getting... done. And you had two def- Anthony K Mark the tampon Anthony, one in the nose. Piet. He should have been off. That's it. And Sammy Piet, that Croatia game especially. They had he like trust them, bro. Yeah. No, I agree. And also hindsight again, I didn't say it during qualifying, so I don't want to act like a coach. But I think he should have made the switch. Fonzie, just play your position. He just looked too out of place up there, and he was doing way too much. He dribbling. was doing way too much, which is like way was, too much he dribbling. Trying to, he knew that he was the best player on his team, and it was like he he, and I get it too. Where it's like imagine he's playing in Munich. Where he's getting all, he's playing with some of the best players in the world. That's a hard transition to make. I know, but that's and why I, they should have just moved him back because we had play, we had plenty of wing backs and attackers. That's the thing. The only Our thing strong is, suit is and, the wing. Adakubi could have played yeah. there and put uh, Fonzie Adakubi combo, would have been fine, bro. But whatever, hindsight, like I said, I didn't think of this until well, after. And I think they were also playing just like in a sort of a way just to be happy they're there, right? And that's a different mentality, like. I, I don't believe that that's there. what they were thinking. I think we feel like that. I think they went there like a lot of teams do that aren't supposed to go far, they come out of the but group they team. still believe it. Yeah. I don't think they genuinely were like, we're going to do worse in America, who we killed, and worse in Mexico, and we want to prove that we just came here and fluke like. But once again, hindsight, our boy Tam and Saliwa, shout out to him. We did the Zoom with him. Yep. He said after the game when they didn't win and they didn't get a point or all three, he said, Adji, they lost their chance to advance. And I didn't think it was that serious. But taking it from a pro who knows the the level that they were at, and the met, yeah. he he was in the dumps. Oh, in they the could dumps. have been riding such a wave if they beat Belgium. Like, my God. They would but have getting no points from the most They shots. would have ran on Croatia so much more than they would have. But, <laughs> but that group hurt. Would have, could have, should have. It was a good learning flag down. experience. And, it yeah, was and we're hosting team. next time. It'll be That's a nice I mean. atmosphere. Twenty twenty. We're going to be ready to go next tournament. Uh, and the last group, or no, sorry, second last group: Brazil, Switzerland, Cameroon, Serbia. All I can say is samba, <laughs> samba, just, baby. I'm just doing the pigeon dance. You know what I mean? Getting my yeah. Carlson on. You know, but I want to. I do like the, it. I want to do the Paqueta one. I know that, that was in the club, baby. <laughs> Whatever Paqueta was doing, what? That shit was hot. He said, fuck the four-man thing. I want to do my solo thing, Matt. The oh, Ketas I... dance, the four-man shit is the temptation oh, shit. They, I love oh, it. Oh, I love that. I know I you're just practicing it. on the training ground uh, so much. Like they're having uh, the time. They said they have 10 different dances. Yeah. And Roy Keane's mad about each and every one of them. Of course he Shut is. up, Roy Keane, old <laughs> yeah. ass. But Vinicius looking amazing. Neymar is playing really well. Brazil it's Charleston. Charleston. Classic. Charleston what we were though. talking about yeah. switching jerseys. Yeah. Jones. He's looking like the actual Pele out there. Well, and I'm sad. And... Did you see Jesus is out? That really bad. He has to have surgery. That's that hurt you, but yeah. for Arsenal, that's more worse for Arsenal. True say yeah. in Brazil, he's the backup. Even though he's more class yeah. in England, and he actually has a better record. I want to see some more Martin, Martinelli, but I want to see some more. Yeah, you ain't getting it. Vinny is holding that spot Oh, we got down. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Here we go. The final <laughs> countdown. Well, uh, for this group, 
All yeah. I can say is Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. That's all that's, that's worth talking about. Yeah. Serbia and Cameroon. Shout out to Cameroon. Cameroon first, actually played first well. Africans yeah. to yeah. beat Brazil in history. So that's huge. Yeah. And the Swiss, they just didn't have it. Uh, uh, Jacques is Jacques is always going to be a little a threat in the middle there. And I but they have like Shakiri and Shakiri and still it's like the classic. Shakiri still showing his name at the back. Oh, they love Five it. foot one dynamo. <laughs> he's so small and powerful but yeah but he's so looks just this. so powerful let's go with the last group and then let's get some predictions okay last group was portugal south korea uruguay and ghana yo quick one I for got a, ghana got a timer so let's go okay quick one because it's uh the last group obviously focusing for me on ghana kudus 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 yeah. kudus whatever i already thought before the tournament he just doubled it if anything i think he's so humble and he takes such a backseat to our old Captain Day Day, who, yes, leader, experience, but, bro, same thing as Atiba. Same thing that Fernando Santos did against Ronaldo. Take that old man, teach him a lesson, sit his ass down, let these young boys play. Let them play. Bring these vets on late with their experience, 20 minutes, and have all that energy to just throw it all on if you need to. But... Well, and- I think Ghana Ronald, that hurt well, me, man. And they also caught the flu of what's going around in this World Cup is terrible penalty kicks. Like my God, that whole, well, the whole penalty kick is been... was, was, oh. was trash. No, but like but, there but, is, there's happening all over the place. Like even Spain's game, Jesus. Bigger yeah. issue to me was Smash mentally it weak. Smash it. That's yeah, what like, I I'd rather you like it's people the trying to do the hot trip. placement too much. You know, like just. Just bang it. Bang it in the corner. If he saves it, he saves it. Just bang it. Well, for it. Ghana and for Alfonso, I think it was too much waiting and too much mental. Yeah. Both. Dede Ayu should not have shot it. Kudu yeah. should have shot a young player who wasn't in that 2010 thing, thinking about revenge, thinking about I'm going to save Ghana, thinking about all that shit. He yeah. shot it like someone who thought too much about it. Well, and that's what Davies was my... doing, trying to have the first Canada there you goal. Go. Of course. That's, yeah. But that's the quick last main takeaway for Ghana, I wasn't as sad because Two goals in three minutes, two goals in four minutes, two goals in six minutes, three games straight. Once again, just like I just heard, man, our coach Otto Addo, how do you let a mental breakdown, the exact same mental breakdown like for that. two goals conceded in a short three times? Yeah. Come on, man. That's a mental problem. So we're gonna like so, take a timeout like Jason Kidd and throw some water on the court or something. You know, like you gotta just take a break, just cool it down a little bit. And you can see quickly the for this off the rail. <laughs> that's so funny jason kid i forgot about when he did that i was so banging to me but yo quickly before we finish this group uh ronaldo sitting the next game and was it a good idea obviously they won clearly it was but clearly <laughs> are you do you continue it yeah that's what i say but a lot i have a lot i think the fanboys think it was just oh we want to arrest them oh that was because it was switzerland i'm like no they actually were like you're slowing and, us down and you he can't reach a through ball but true, and you would like, be an, a great super sub. Like, yeah, he's a I nice agree. super sub. Yeah. That's what like I mean that, about these old guys. Give them 30 in, minutes, minutes of their life. Minute? Yeah. And just that's go it. Hard. And then you go can still hard. be a hero. And you can still be and a you can hero. Shoot a penalty. Game winner. Yeah. You, and, and, you and you're on the field to shoot a penalty. So I agree with you. I don't think Ronaldo's coming back to start, but we'll see. I doubt it. Um, and Korea, props to them just because yeah. they played they fucking well. wicked football. Yeah. Even though they got smashed, and by I know you were happy that you saw Suarez crying on the bench. Oh, that was amazing when he found out. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Oh, I loved every minute of it. Even the fact they got robbed on a Cavani penalty. That was a penalty. Yeah, straight up. But Jones, okay, quickly good, quarterfinals. Five, yeah, who you got? Predictions. Um, let's go. I'll start at the top. I'll go. Yeah, I think Argentina, Brazil's kind of inevitable. I think that's going to be a nice side. And then I think the French are too dominant. And Morocco, Portugal, I honestly, that one's so 50 50 to me. Uh, some takes. I'm going to go, you know what? I'm going to go Morocco. Let's go. You? Okay. What are you thinking? Okay. For me, my thing all week has been everyone that's left can win except Croatia. Now, I still mm-hmm. give Croatia an outside shot only. This is a dream scenario in the craziest headlocking of Brazil's attack for 90 straight minutes which brazil's attacks and it's not just the attack tiago silva marquinhos casemiro this ball is leading to your goal i just don't see croatia holding them back my, my one ca- my one counter though Aji, is uh-huh. when they went to the finals 
every single game in the knocko round went to extra time and penalties. I, oh, I know. This I is get their it. thing. Like, like and that, I, that's I what people are like saying before you year... Yeah. Sorry, go on. No, I was just going to say, that's what people were saying when they were going in the last World Cup. Like, they were just like, oh, Croatia, Croatia. And the, they had they were a little more in their golden generation. Golden and generation and peak really well. Luka Modric. Yeah. Not this one who needs to get subbed off before the game's over. I know, that was so weird. You know what I mean? I like, oh, so... I Classic. I would like to give them an outside chance and I'll give them that out of respect because their history has shown they're the most, res- they might be one of the most resilient football countries in the world and, and they're very steady. Too. So I'll give them that outside chance. But to me, they don't have the game breaker that every single other team left has. Yeah, they know. And the reason why I give them a little notch up from Morocco is that I think Brazil is much better than Portugal. And I think that while this has been such an amazing attacking world cup, Morocco has let one goal in four games and everyone's kind of forgetting the defensive side. They're not just defensive. They're the best defensive team left Mm -hmm. and the fan support and the momentum of winning. People don't get what underdog teams feel like when they keep advancing. It's crazy how powerful you start feeling. And the fact that they're going to have the most fans left in this tournament is a huge factor. But that being said, if you see Portugal unleash and say, let's go and Ronaldo, It'll be hard to stop that attack for a whole game. So, I know, that, that being that said, I'm going Morocco. Morocco? I'm going Morocco. I think that might be actually Brazil. the most exciting game. I think that one could. I do be too. Absolute, yeah. Because maybe, as much as they we'll don't see, attack, we'll they're counter the too. So, yeah. I want to see another waddle. <laughs> Hakimi. Uh, so, anyways, to answer you, Brazil's gonna win. Morocco outside shot, and I'm gonna ride with Africa till the wheels fall off. That France game, I have an analogy. They play four, four back. <laughs> They play four back, and it's Walker and Mbappe one on one. France wins. If they play three back, Trippier plays wing back with Kyle Walker, and he has to go past two people all night, not one. Well, that's England what wins. Southgate saying he has the Mbappe plan. Three. That's already so. I think what about, the Mbappe so. plan is the three, three, five, three, or three, five, two, or whatever it is, where he's gonna have wing backs, and there's gonna have to be like a double up. Where Mbappe takes on one guy, boom, Kyle Walker clear. Takes on one guy, boom, Kyle Walker clear. Because if it's just beat Kyle Walker and he'll kill people, he'll kill everyone. Vinicius and Mbappe on the wing by themselves, they'll kill anyone. They need yeah. people need to help you with I those. I secretly two. wish this imagine this uh tournament was in Europe and this game was about to happen. Like oh, my be sick. God. And then you're going Argentina over the Dutch. Obviously. Of course I'm repping Messi, yeah. Diego's dream. The Albi Celeste shirt and Argentina all day. But truth be told, I think the Dutch should win. But I think Argentina's resilience and how bad they want to give Messi, I think Argentina's going to. Yeah. And I think it's extra time. Okay, perfect. Okay, what I will one, say is a blowout no, is we got, going to the Dutch. One minute. Final on wax. Who's the winner of the World Cup? You're in Vegas. You get a free bet. Who are you going? Hey, yo, I want Argentina to win, but I think the France-England winner wins the World Cup. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just going to say that. Make it simple. I could go way deep and break this all down, but I want Argentina to win, but I think the France-England winner wins the World Cup, and I pray for Morocco, which is a dream if an African team gets to the final. So that's my take. One, two, three. France-England winner wins the World Cup, I want Argentina, and I'm praying for Africa. You? I'm just going to say it's the Pele effect. What's going on with him? It's Brazil's year. I think Brazil's going to win the World Cup. Six star, eh? Which would be crazy for Neymar to go out. All this Messi and Ronaldo, boom, Neymar is like, ah, forgot about me, bitch. (laughs) All right, brother, man. This is ending. You know. Red Dot Headshot, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, No Warning Podcast channel. Follow his up. World All War of Football, day. vote on it. World War of Football. Check the reels, check the stories, check our Instagram, check our Facebook, and follow me at Chat Chief, at AB Salute One. Follow Jones at Jones in the Zone, and follow us at No Warning Podcast. Red Dot Headshot. Later, brother.